Hi, I'm Dr. Paul. Welcome to another episode of Ask Your Pediatrician. Our topic for today is block tear ducts. Block tear ducts, or dacrostenosis, is where the tear duct, typically the inner corner of the eye that actually drains into the nose in a newborn, is very often blocked. And so once they start making tears, those tears are not going through the nose and down the back of the throat like they would for you and I, but they're just weeping, tearing eyes. And I think in the process of rubbing, eyes can sometimes get infected. But even if they're not infected, you'll just sort of have this sheen or this mucousy, not a lot. It's not crusted shut and swollen and red like you would with a bad pink eye or periorbital cellulitis and infection around the eye, but just constant, a little bit of weepiness, a little bit of goopiness to the eye, and that's a blocked tear duct. Now, the books say 90% of these will resolve by a year. I would say 99% of these will resolve by a year. And even though there are some ophthalmologists that are promoting, you know, bring your child in sooner, we can probe the tear duct and make it work right. Frankly, in my 20-some years of pediatrics, I have never had to have a child have their tear duct probed or putting in a little stent, which sometimes the ophthalmologist will do, for a simple block tear duct that's not otherwise causing any problems. So my recommendation is don't rush off and get yourself surgery for a problem that's resolving on its own anyway. For that 1% or 1% to 5% of infants who reach a year of age and they're still having a slight issue with their blocked tear duct, typically most pediatricians and the literature is saying you should see an ophthalmologist, they can probe the tear duct, plus or minus put in a stent, problem solved. I've actually, now that I've been a pediatrician for a long time, I've actually said to some parents, well, I bet if you give it a little more time, it's going to go away. And indeed, that's been my experience. So this is not a huge issue. As far as what you can do for a blocked tear duct, there's a couple things. One is, if you think it's starting to get a little bit infected, if you're breastfeeding, I know this sounds a little odd, but mom, you can put a drop or a squirt of breast milk in the eye, and it has some healing properties and often will prevent eye infections. Now, I know this is debated back and forth, but it certainly is harmless. I have had hundreds of moms do this, and it seems like it works every time. This might help you avoid the need for antibiotics, not that they're a big deal. If you do end up needing antibiotics, your pediatrician will just prescribe a little antibiotic dropper ointment if the eye is getting infected and it's topical. It's not a big deal. It's not like taking oral antibiotics where you're disrupting the immune system and the good bacteria in the intestinal tract. The other thing, and this is somewhat debatable as to its real value, but you can do a tear duct massage. And I'm really not sure whether it does a lot of good or not, to be real honest. I often will tell parents about it. A lot of parents try it. The tear duct, remember, runs in the inner corner of the eye. So you can do a massage pressure against the nose, and you can spin up or down and massage that tear duct and perhaps get it to open up. By all means, please don't put any pressure on the eyeball. That would not be a good move at all. So as long as your pressure is against the nose, you can do a little tear duct massage if you like, a couple times a day. Perhaps it helps. There's mixed reviews in the literature of whether or not that's beneficial. But basically, I wanted to reassure you, if you've got a child whose eye just seems to tear and goop up a little bit, this is normal in the first year of life. And it's just something you can bring up to your pediatrician when you have your next well visit. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.